Hey, it's Craig. I'm in the car today. I'm going to have a look at a PlayStation 4 one terabyte model. Um, this one's up on Facebook Marketplace for a really cheap price, so this one's up for £30. Uh, the unit itself has fallen off a TV unit, so it's a bit smashed in the, um, on the case. It's reporting a hard drive error, so that could be a simple fix that the hard drive's not mounted properly and it needs remounting, or it could be that something's really wrong with the logic board and other bits and pieces on it. So, 30 quid on a Sunday afternoon, a uh, bit of a gamble. Let's have a look, see what we can do. Okay, I've just picked up the PlayStation. I'm just about to head back home. Um, the guy showed me the condition of it in his hallway, and yeah, as, as expected, the the surroundings of case on the, the hard drive area are all smashed in and the, the hard drive caddy seems to be bent up a little bit. Um, fingers crossed it's just that it's not sitting well onto the connectors and it's that's the issue for it. But I think the hard drive's knackered to be honest. They, they're so temperamental and uh, delicate anyway. A couple of knocks, this one seems to have quite a serious knock to it so it's probably smashed that hard drive in. Um, worst case scenario, yeah they could have knackered up the motherboard and other bits and pieces as well but We'll get to that if we, if we need to. The other concern I've got for this, this guy clearly smokes a lot of weed. Um, so this thing is gonna be full, full, full of uh, smoke dust and things. I had a quick look over it when I was um, in his hallway, but I didn't wanna to be too detailed on it, but I could see brown, brown dust around the edges of all the drives and all the fan entry. So this is gonna need a good cleaning out as well. So I'll do that anyway later. I'll give it all a clean, give this hard drive a, a test but I think I'm gonna end up having to buy a hard drive for this so I'm probably not gonna get it sorted today but hopefully within the next couple of days I can get a part and get that sorted cool I'll catch you back at the house okay I'm back in the house I uh, just had a quick look over everything the box is in a okay condition not amazing uh, more tears and things to the back than anything else. Uh, it's got instruction books and things in there. The um, PlayStation itself uh, showed the close-ups on the, the hard drive. Something looks really twisted in there, so um, I think that drive's dead, but we'll have a go anyway. I'm going to show you some close-ups with all the dust and things in there as well. Yeah, so the next step is to try and plug it in and see what we get on screen. Hopefully we get the, the error of the hard drive is failing. And that's it. Hopefully it stays on and powers up and keeps staying on while it's uh, given that error. And then we'll go from there and see what we can do on fixes and other bits and pieces. And then hopefully be able to update by the end of this video. Okay, so I've got it hooked up to HDMI and power. Um, let's give it a go. Okay, we've got power. It's good. Okay, so on the TV we've now got PlayStation logo. Okay, so system storage is bad. Um, we can turn off the PlayStation 4. Okay, that's pretty much what I thought was going to be the case. Um, and I'm glad it was, actually, that it powered up and booted up fine. Um, took a little while because it couldn't find the hard drive. Then get the error code, which I wanted it to do. So at least it's eliminated now down to the hard drive is the issue. Again, it still could be the connectors on the motherboard or the... A logic board across to the drive but likelihood is this drive's knackered because it's had a drop and a bump and these things are quite fragile so fingers crossed that's the the issue i'm going to have a look around and dig around in there now see if i can get this drive out um, in one piece it's pretty bent up um and then we'll go from there whether i'm going to replace the drive and get a, a swap a new one into it or whether i can fix this one which is pretty unlikely but we'll give it a go anyway So I'm taking the drive out once and put it back in and tried it again just to see if it needed reseating. But this whole housing area, especially this side, is really smashed and warped. So the one retaining screw on the side is out at the moment. So it should just normally pull straight up and out. But as you can see, because the case is pretty smashed, it's pulling other bits and pieces with it. Um, you can get it out. And that's the condition of the housing, so this has been really bumped. 
screws don't look like they've been unscrewed, so I don't think they've tried another drive on this yet. That's just been really smashed in on the side. Rest of it. I think this is dead. So these old hard drives, they just the, the heads on them jam, especially if they're given a good knock. So I don't have to replace this one. I'm going to find a new drive somewhere and swap this out and give it a go. Um, but sadly, it's not going to be today. So fingers crossed, I can get one within a couple of days um, and give it a switch and see how we go. Look at the state of the inside of this thing. So that's one of the ports that's dragging in the air and all the weed and smoke and everything. Christ, you could probably skin this PlayStation up and smoke it if you wanted to. Look at the state on that. And even all the cables have got a little yellow tint to them. This has been constantly smoked around. Everything's just a bit minging. Look at all that. I'm not even going to clean this manually. I'm going to take this out to the garage and blast it with the air gun. Get as much of it as I can out. And then I'll clean it up with some rubbing alcohol or something similar. Right, new drive purchased and installed. So I went down to CEX and bought a one terabyte hard drive for £28. The benefit of buying it from CEX is that they've got a, a really good warranty and returns policy on them. So if this doesn't work or if it fails in the future, then hopefully I can swap that out anyway. So let's give this a go. What we've got to do now is put it into recovery mode or safe mode. Um, I've got a USB stick in there which has got the uh, one gigabyte firmware file which I downloaded from the Sony PlayStation website. Um, so let's get this a crack and see what we can do. So hold this for seven seconds. There we go, so that's the second beep. We've got the PlayStation controller plugged in for this. Okay, connect dual shot, gonna press PlayStation button. Okay, so we got the options now. So safe mode, restart, change resolution, update system software, restore. So it's on the one we want. Number seven, PS4 reinstall software. So, so that's telling me to connect the USB drive. I've done that already. So I'm gonna say okay. Yeah, it's taking a little while. See the reflection on my arcade game. One of my arcade games, my box Nintendo set on top. I've also got my Space Invaders game over here, full of junk and things at the moment where I've just done the repair. Okay, so the PS4 will be initialized and the user data will be deleted. I'm sure we want to continue. Well, there's no data on this drive anyway. This is a brand new drive from, well, second-hand drive from CEX. So, yes. Okay, so system software update. I think this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to pause the video and then come back in a little bit. We have a working PlayStation 4. How cool was that? So £30 for the PlayStation 4 um, with the faulty drive. 
uh, including cleaning it out and other bits and pieces, probably took me about uh, half an hour. That includes cleaning out the PlayStation, taking the old drive out, uh, getting the new drive installed, and then probably another 20 minutes on the software install side of things. But that's pretty straightforward. You just got to press a couple of buttons and it installs itself. Um, so 58 quid in total for a brand new style PlayStation 4. Not the pro version, but it's the jet black now with one terabyte drive inside of it. Um, I've got the box, the instructions, and all the other bits and pieces to go with it. Don't have a control pad, but I've got my control pad from the other one, uh, which I'll keep hold of now. Um, it's up and running, which is great. So that's a, a really good um, investment. So that one, I think I'm gonna keep this whole, this project one and then um, sell the one I had from last week, make the money out of that one, and then see what happens in the future. I'm not gonna make a, a habit of buying and selling these. At some point it's gonna kick me in the ass and I'm gonna lose money on them. So um, I've done it twice, being able to get a good result twice. Uh, third time, maybe, we'll, we'll have a look. We'll see if what comes up on the marketplace or eBay or wherever, um, but I'm not actively going hunting for these now. Okay, so that's it pretty much sorted. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you've liked it. Um, comment below if you've got any questions around what I've done. Um, pretty straightforward. There's loads of tutorials around swapping a hard drive and things on a, a PlayStation 4. Um, but please subscribe to the channel as well. I'm going to do a couple of videos over different things over the next couple of months. Uh, mainly for my own benefit of presenting and doing other bits and pieces and public speaking. I kind of find these quite fun to do as well. So hope you're enjoying them. Um, please, as I said, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see what the next project is. Cheers.